Tyg here again. On the 27th of August, 2025, Turnitin announced the introduction of a new AI bypasser detection feature. Over the last two years, Turnitin have observed an increase in the use of AI humanizers, something that you're no doubt familiar with if you're a subscriber to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, you know what to do right now. And give the video a like and a share while you're down there. Humanizers can make it challenging for educators educators to ensure the authenticity of students' work. Tools of this nature introduce changes to AI writing so that it will bypass AI detectors, including minor spelling errors, deleting punctuation, paraphrasing, and substituting Latin letters for Cyrillic letters. I'm getting deja vu here! Flashback to July 2024, Turnitin announced a new feature that would detect AI writing that had been paraphrased. AI paraphrasing was a more simplistic form of humanizing that was popular at the time, and usually involved the use of spinners, which were tools that would replace words with synonyms to beat AI detection. So apparently Turnitin can now identify when writing is AI generated, AI paraphrased, and AI humanized. Hmm. I'm not sure if I believe that. In the press release, linked below, Turnitin's chief product officer talks about humanizers being a new category of cheating providers. She says, these bypassers undermine the educational process by working against genuine learning, eroding trust between educators and students, and diminishing the educator's ability to confidently ensure students understand the course material. That's a fact. Also, cheating in this way is really sad. You've spent a fortune on university, and you're pretending to understand something that you don't. Congratulations. You played yourself. According to the press release, the AI bypasser detection feature only works for English submissions and is available for users who have Turnitin originality. Hey, I've got access to Turnitin originality. I wonder does this feature really work? Let's check. I also just so happen to have AI writing humanized using GPT Human, Rephrasey, Stealth GPT, Stealth Writer, Grubby, and Easy Essay saved on my computer. I created and tested humanized writing by these popular tools in recent videos on the channel, and they all got 0% likely AI scores. We'll upload each of these to turn it in and see what happens. For the GPT human humanized writing, we get a 31% likely AI score. For the rephrasey humanized writing, we get an unknown AI score of somewhere between 1 and 19%, though Turnitin won't specify or show which parts of the text were flagged to avoid false positives or erroneously flagging human writing. For Stealth GPT, we get a 72% likely AI score. For Stealth Writer, we get an AI score of unknown again, somewhere between 1 and 19%. For Grubby, we get a 67% likely AI score. And finally, for Easy Essay, we get a 0% likely AI score. Wow, there is a big difference between the old AI scores and the new AI scores. Stealth GPT went from 0 to 72%, and Grubby went from 0 to 67%. They are the two most popular tools on this list. It's funny that for Easy Essay, Probably the least popular of the tools, the AI score remained unchanged at 0% from the old test. There is more about the new feature in the product updates part of the Turnitin website. They talk about this new feature confirming that it can flag humanized work and can also detect GPT-5 writing. We had mixed results on Turnitin's ability to detect GPT-5 in a recent video. I guess more testing is required now. It's interesting that the Turnitin interface doesn't specify which parts of the writing are flagged by the AI bypasser detector. We still have the same two classifications, AI generated and AI paraphrased. In this video, all of the writing that was flagged was classified as AI generated only, suggesting it was written by an LLM. Even from our initial quick test, we can make a few conclusions. The new AI bypasser detector is an improvement but it's not perfect. 
I say this in almost every video. Totally accurate AI detection is a myth. If this feature worked well, every single document we tested would have got a 100% likely AI score. If you're a student trying to pass off AI writing as your own, it seems like Easy Essay is a good choice right now. Though more testing is required. And please note, and again, I say this in almost every video, it doesn't really matter what your AI score is. If your lecturer or professor has doubts about the authenticity of your work, or whether you wrote it, they will expect to see evidence of your research and writing. If the evidence is unconvincing, you will receive a penalty for academic misconduct from your university. I think this new AI bypasser detector feature is a bad move from Turnitin. In fact, I think everything Turnitin have done with AI detection has been a bad choice. AI detection is a waste of time, and they're falling into that cat and mouse game between AI detection organizations and AI humanizer organizations that everyone expected from the beginning. Like, seriously, how long do you think it's going to take for Stealth GPT and the other tools that we tested in this video to respond with updates that can bypass this new feature from Turnitin? Not long, I'd say. While you're waiting to see what happens next, you can like this video to show your support for the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with someone in your life who you think it could help or inform. Thank you for your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next video.